What's good, Eagles fans? Y'all are tuned into your dose of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge to the game. And I'm your humble host, Tone the Shows the Second. You guys, like I mentioned yesterday, we officially have found our new defensive coordinator in Jonathan Gannon. But that's not all. On top of that, Nick Seriani is bringing some more people from the Colts. And as a matter of fact, he's bringing Kevin Petullo from the Indianapolis Colts. He was formerly their passing game coordinator over there. And now he's coming over here as well um, to be the passing game coordinator. So uh, this is a, um, this is pretty interesting. Um, Nick Seriani is surrounding himself with familiar faces. He's surrounding himself with people who's um, on the same page as him, who can pretty much all but guarantee his path to success. Now, we all know success is never guaranteed, but the path, paving it, giving you a clear way, putting the pieces and the people in position that you can delegate duties to that you trust, that's what's really important. That's what you really need to pay attention to with these hires. And also with these hires, which is very, very alarming to me in a good way, the Eagles are giving Nick Sirianni full control of picking who his staff is, so it, so it appears. Um, so far, on top of Nick, Sir, Nick, Nick Sirianni, there are two Colts coaches coming to the uh, Philadelphia area. So this is pretty interesting, like I, uh, you know, like I said, to say the least. And um, we have no idea what this is going to look like uh, once everyone makes their way to the field, you know, training camp, OTAs, preseason, things like that. We have no idea uh, what this offense and defense will look like and special teams because we're going to have to hire someone there as well. This entire coaching staff is being overhauled, and I like it. That's the one thing I can say about all of this. I love the overhaul of the coaching position. I love that we're just going, we're, we're, we're committing to change. That's the one thing I can say when it comes to coaching. Um, based off everything Jeffrey Lurie has been allowing to go down, he's committing himself to the future. He's committing himself to change. He's committing himself to innovation and youth. And I really, really admire that. And, um, you know, I, I, I got to give him his respect. I got to give him his I got to give him his flowers when it, when it comes to that decision. Now, the only thing we have to get rid of is Howie Roseman. But that remains to be seen. I think this is the final year of his contract. And I really don't see it being extended, especially if he fumbles the draft again. But I don't see this draft being fumbled, especially in the first round, mainly because we got a new head coach, a young head coach, an, off an offensive minded head coach who who's formerly a quarterback and wide receivers coach. And I don't see us fumbling that first pick, the number six pick overall. We have to get Jamar Chase or either Devontae Smith. Um, and it's straight like that, you guys. I don't really have too much to talk about when it comes to the Eagles right now. Um, we got new coaches, Nick Sirianni, Jonathan Gannon, and now Kevin Petullo from the Indianapolis Colts. And, you know, let's see how it turns out, you guys. I'm your humble host, Tony Shows the Second. And y'all have been tuning to y'all dose of Chalk It Up, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. Also, make sure y'all check out the Chalk It Up merch, man. We got so many different colorways, so many different items on there. I'm going to be adding different styles on there as well. So make sure y'all go look at everything top to bottom. The prices are very fair in my opinion. And even if they're not, let me know. Let me know. I want to make sure you guys are capable of getting this. I know we're in a pandemic and I know money is in short supply right now. So I'm just grateful for all the support you guys have been giving me wholeheartedly. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've been loyal to the soil, you already know where my heart is. That's all I have. Y'all have been tuning into y'all dose so chalk it up. Where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. One love, you guys. And fly goes fly.